Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The book contains 230 problem solving questions. It has 174 data sufficiency questions. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. If you're interested in watching any of the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Right now, we are in the process of redoing the problems and we are on page number 185. Please start doing page number 185, problem number 200. And 28. Problem number 228 is already on the blackboard. Here is what the problem tells us. It tells us that we are going to construct a right angle triangle. We are going to construct a triangle PQR. We are going to construct a triangle. They do not tell you right angle triangle in the beginning. We are going to construct a tri triangle PQR. There are certain conditions that we have to fulfill in order for us to construct that triangle. First condition is that it must be a right angle triangle and the right angle needs to be at point P. Second condition we have to fulfill is that the line PR has to be parallel to x axis. Third condition we have to fulfill is that the x coordinate and the y coordinate of these three points P, Q, and R, x coordinate and y coordinate of all of these three points need to be whole need to be whole numbers. They have to be integers. They need to be integers. Not only they need to be integers, but the x coordinate has to fall has to fall between negative four and positive five, and the y coordinate of any of these points P, Q or R has to be such that it falls between 6 and 16. The question simply is given these conditions, given these constraints, how many different possible triangles are there that one can construct? How many different triangles are possible to construct? Very simple, very straightforward question. Let's see what we can do here. Do you understand? Of course the questions are always straightforward and simple. It is the answer that gets prickly, doesn't it? Now before we get going before, before we get going, I do want to point out that it is very important, it is vital, it is crucial, it is important, it is essential that you have watched yesterday's video. Make sure that you have watched 372, day 372, where we did the exact same problem, but we did a simpler version of that problem, simpler version of this problem. Make sure you have watched yesterday's videos, day 372. If you have not, stop the, this video right now. Watch the simpler video. Here's what I want you to do. Watch the simpler version first. Understand the problem. And then solve this problem on your own. Once you, once you watch 372, you will be able to solve this question on your own. And then solve the question on your own. And then once you have solved it, then watch this. Now then continue watching this video. And then compare your work at that point against the work that you and I are about to do together. Do you understand? You will get, you will, you will get more out of it that, that way. You will learn more out of it that way. Do you understand? Let's get going. But I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Yesterday, yesterday's video was 17 minutes long. I'm not going to go into that much detail. I'm just going to be just going to do the problem. I'm taking it for granted. I'm assuming that you watched yesterday's video and you know what's going on. So let's begin. So there are three points P, Q, and R. Question is how many different places, how many different possible locations are there where we can put point P? Question is, let's begin. Solution. We start with point P. How many different places, how many different places or locations, how many different places can P be had? Well, we know that x coordinate has to be between negative 4 and positive 5. Negative 4 and positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 and positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 5 x coordinate has to be between negative 4 and positive 5. We also told that y has to be, y coordinate has to be between 6 and 16. Between 6, between 6 and 16. We have to, we have to stay, we have to stay in this region. We have to stay in this region. The question is, how many different places can be play, how many different possibilities are there for point P to be? For example, point point P could be uh, this is this is six, let's pretend this is six, seven, it's maybe it is maybe it is this is seven and eight, and this is uh, 
this is negative 1, so maybe it is right here, maybe point P is right here, at negative 1 and 7. Negative 1 and 7, that's one possibility where we can start out building our, building our triangle, building our triangle, point P might be there. How many different possibilities are there where we can put point P? That's what we are trying to figure out. From negative 4 to positive 5, x can be from negative 4 to positive 5, how many possibilities are there? Don't be lazy, don't just subtract the two, list them out, negative 4, negative 2, negative, negative 2, negative 1, that's 4 right there, then we're going to have 0, and then we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 10 different places where we can have, where, where we can have, X, where, uh, there are 10 different possibilities for us to choose as an X coordinate of point P as the x-coordinate of point P. There are 10 different possibilities. Similarly, the, similarly for y, y we are told is between 6 and 16. Between 6 and 16. This is where people make mistake. This is where people make mistake because they are trying to do it in a fast way. There is a smart way of saving time in the exam and there are not so smart way of saving times in the exam. Subtracting 6, six from the 16 is not a smart way to save 2 seconds. That's why I, took, I, I showed you here. Do it out. Make sure you count them properly. From 6 to 16, how many choices are there? Again, list them out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. How many different? 3, 3, 6, 9, and 11. There are 11 different possibilities for us to choose as y coordinate of point P. 11, not 10. Don't just subtract 16 minus 6. So where can we have? How many different lo locations are possible for point P to be? The answer is, how many different places can point P be? Point P can be, point P can be, can be placed at, well we have 10 choices, we have 10 choices for X coordinate and we have 11 choices for Y coordinates. We have 110 different places where we can place point P. There are 100, 110 dots here, one, two, so on and so forth. Do you understand? If you watch yesterday's videos, yesterday's video in the simpler version, we actually pointed out each of the possible dots. In yesterday's video, instead of 110 choices, we only had 20 choices. Okay? So there are 110 choices where we can have point P. We are done with point P. Let's move on with point Q. We are done. There are 100. 110 different places where we can locate our point P. Once point P is chosen, once point P is chosen, the, let's do point P and then Q, let's do Q, the X coordinate, X coordinate of point Q is fixed. X coordinate of point Point, P, point Q is fixed. I need the room. I'm going to erase this thing uh, because I'm running out of room here. Let's do it freehand. So here is our. Let's let's say let's remember P to R has to be parallel. P to R has to be parallel. There is our point P. There is our point R. This is Q. This is what we're talking about. So if this is x1, x1, y1. If the coordinates of point P are x1 and y1, then the coordinates of Q are going to be the x coordinate of point Q, x coordinate of point Q has to be same as the x coordinate of point P because it makes a right angle triangle and this we are told is parallel to x axis. If PR is parallel to x axis then QR, if, if PR is parallel to x axis then QP has to be parallel to y axis. And, and since QP is parallel to y axis, therefore whatever the x coordinate of point P is, the x coordinate of point Q is going to be the same. It's going to be x1, y2. So x1 is not a matter of choice, it's fixed. Once point P is chosen, this says point P. Once, once point P is chosen, the x coordinate of point Q is also fixed. Only choice we have is how many different places can we put the y coordinate. How many different pl pl places can we put the y coordinate. The y coordinate, y coordinate of, y coordinate of point Q, can be had at how many different places? Well, for y coordinate we had 11 choices to begin with. 
we have we had 11 choices to begin with out of those 11 possibilities we have used up one for p the y coordinate to point p is right here the y1 we have two we have taken one of the, we have taken one of those 11 possibilities for p we have used it up so there are 10 possibilities y coordinate point q can be had at 10 places 10 possible places 10 possible places in other words in other words point q point p can be point p can be at 110 places 110 possible places point q point q we just found out can be at 10 possible places now let's do r let's do r what about point r let's do it let's do it down here same exact logic will apply when we're doing the point r once once point p is chosen once we have made our choice of point p once point p is chosen that implies that the y coordinate y coordinate of point r is fixed we don't have a choice it's fixed y coordinate is fixed here's here's point r the y coordinate is going to be the same as this one the x coordinate is going to be x2 and y1 the y coordinate has to be fixed because this pr is parallel to x axis the only choice we have is to is to ask ourselves where do you want to put the x coordinate of point r the y coordinate has to be on that line parallel to x axis the x coordinate the x coordinate of point r can be had at how many different places well we had 10 10 choices to begin with for x coordinate for x coordinate we had 10 choices to begin with out of those 10 choices we have used up one of those 10 choices to for the x coordinate point p we obviously we can't use the same x coordinate point p point p and point r cannot lie on top of each other so once we have used up one of the x coordinate out of the out of the 10 possibilities we only left with 9 again one more time once point p is chosen once point p is chosen the y coordinate point r the y coordinate of point r is fixed has to be the same as this guy y1 and y1 it is the x coordinate we're talking about x coordinate of point r can be had at any of the remaining nine possibilities there were 10 possibilities to begin with the the x2 the, the, the x coordinate of point r can be had at any of the remaining nine possibilities x coordinate of point r can be had at nine nine different places nine different places there we go that's it we're done that's our answer that's our answer let's finish it up shall we how are we going to do it 11 11 times 9 11 times 9 is 99 and then we have a zero here and we have a zero here that's it the answer is 9900 9900 that's it 9900 is the answer and that's answer choice C that's answer choice C now if you had trouble with this explanation if you feel that I, I, I brushed off to something or I went too fast I did not explain something in detail I assure you that in yesterday's video we did take our time and I keep repeating like a parrot watch yesterday's video if you were lost here you understand I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now